Okay, okay, let's go again. I'm going to try and score one or two wins today to balance out the books today. Because, okay, how am I doing? One win, uh, one draw on the five minute and, and three losses. But it is that part of the auto pairing where it can get very difficult. Get some Diet Coke ready. Okay, Bariton. Okay, A two one zero two. I'll try this line. Let's see three. Black looks to be fine, but um, I can overprotect e five. It's a normal. I mean, it's a reasonable plan. I think. Hmm. I could put the bishop back on f1 and play g3. Bishop g2. I might try that. Bishop f4. Maybe even queen d2. Or even g4. Later. So queen d2, castle queenside. For g4, bishop g2. Or does he want to play bishop e4 to try and torture me? Probably, yep. That was a safe pre-move. Protecting a piece, okay. So if I castle, I get slaughtered on the queen side. I'm not sure. I'll castle queen side. I'll play rookie one. Uh, okay, there's peace pressure, for sure. If I protect the bishop, I've got knight d4 on the cards. Or a3 could just slow down the attack, surely. And this is going to sack on a3. Okay, I want to play rook g1 to play uh, knight d4. Or knight h4, give up f2. Knight h4, just rook f1, or just. I think rook f1, bishop h1, knight d4. Anything better? I don't really want to lose f2. He's going to peel open with a5 and b4. Maybe I've got to do something quick in that respect. So something like knight h4, give up pawn. Takes, takes, I get the f file, a bit of f file pressure after knight h4. Okay, and otherwise bishop e4, queen d7. So I think I'm going to do this. I think it's a bit quicker to try and get to his king. Give up f2, distracts from a5, b4, or as the case may be, not. Uh, so bishop e3 here. Yeah. If I play um, bishop e3, b4, I take. So it's a bit of a hack and slay attack. c takes an a4 just to get ready. Maybe king c1 then, prophylaxis. So I want to play, or just a4 in fact, just to try and keep things closed. So maybe bishop e3 is undouble the pawns. So bishop b4, or knight b4, knight b4 threatens knight e2. And I've got queen, e, queen a3 here. For c3 potentially. Okay, so c3, bishop e5. Well, at least it's, it's my king's. Um, I don't know what's happening. What's happening with the pieces? Um, ah, okay, I can get my knight to f4 now. That's good news. Is he going to take that? Tom Castle. <clears throat> Which is good. So that means I'll bishop f4, knight f4, and threatening knight d5. Um, 
What else? Uh, that's good actually. If I'm threatening knight d5 and he can't castle. Uh, catching up on the clock now. <clears throat> so, big thing here. My two rooks are nice, connected. Hi there, hi there, <laughs> saying to each other. <laughs> no, no, bishop takes e5, knight e5, there's f4, there's knight d3, the take, rook e6, there's king f7, queen e7, king g8. Um, my, my king is, is loose though here, so maybe something else. Uh, maybe just knight f4, that's g5. Uh, No, there's no rook e6. Oh dear. So that's trouble. Bishop e3 then for f4. Bishop e3 maybe. Try and get in. Um, maybe bishop c5 with queen c7 then f4. 1 minute 39. I'm down to 1 minute 39 as well. I'm a whole minute down on the clock. That's annoying. So Queen B3, I'd probably take and play Bishop C5 to try and play F4, support the Knight, then Rook D5. I mean, he's going to play King um, F7. Maybe F5 trying to damage this um, structure. So F4 is now ruled out. He's got Bishop F4. Uh, he's got also Rook B3. That's annoying. Dear oh dear, things get a bit miserable. So he's even got to discover the tech on my bishop if he wants it. Maybe knight before is strong. Bishop a3 might be good actually, just to defend a3 and get the bishop out of trouble before it's too late. Queen is, I don't know, it can come back to b1. It's not all doom and gloom. Maybe a knight h4 could be useful as well. So for the moment. Okay, if bishop c3, I can give up the queen for two rooks there. I can play king d2. So, how do I defend this? Rook e1, protecting both rooks. Then maybe f4 later. Hmm. Ah dear. Looks very passive. What about uh now it's starting to get more painful, okay. But knight d four, rook d two. Okay. Um C three the brook's actually pinned to the king actually. So maybe BC uh, without getting mated. If Bishop E3 takes because Queen C4 here, and, then, and actually he was pinning my rooks, but now there's Rook D7 as well. The queen can come to B1, but there's Rook A3. But this is check. Uh, rook D7 could be handy. Okay, so here, don't know. If I take or for a second, uh, so I'm on stopping C3, but there's knight B4, looks pretty unpleasant. Pleasant. Uh, my queen is sickly placed. Am I gonna? You can take on e3. I want to get queen d1 in without getting mated. There's rook d7. It's down to 20 seconds to finish me off. 
this queen takes b3 of c3 that looks really really unpleasant as a move to face um, I'm just totally tied up I'm hoping this move I was check it's gonna be a knockout blow isn't there okay rook takes d4 c takes b as mate so b takes oh, I'm getting mated bishop takes C takes his check. Ah, oh, 16 seconds. I'm on the rook. What about queen c2? Pinning. Oh dear, I, t I lost on time after all that. A bit gutted actually. I think it's just encoder, otherwise. Otherwise, oh dear, oh dear. <laughs> just totally. That's a bit gutted after all that. Without being mated, just to lose on time. Oh well, oh well. I I think. Um, I might be getting a new router, by the way. So I don't know if this 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 could be a thing in the past. Hopefully, the new router is uh, going to be better. Oh, comments or questions on YouTube. Thanks very much.